Good morning. Today we will take the uh, natural history in a case of Duchenne's muscular dystrophy. So patient will, child can present to you at any age and you will have to um, dig out the history from the parents. From uh, the history, that history will be taken uh, immediately after birth and from, from birth to two years. How were the milestones? Were these milestones delayed as compared to the other siblings? or the child was completely asymptomatic. From the age 2 to 5 years, the parent can give the history that there was history of recurrent falls. He was never good at running. There's history of toe walking or waddling of the gait or history of uh, Gower's maneuver has to be asked. On examination, there can be a valley sign that there will be simultaneous hypertrophy of the deltoid and the infraspinatus with the wasting of the posterior axillary fold. Occasionally, a child can present with language or global developmental delay or with asymptomatic hypercecamia. So, on history, the points that are to be asked, history of recurrent falls, history of any toe walking, waddling, any gower's maneuver and how was the running from 6 to 7 years, other muscles start getting involved like paraspinal muscles. So, there will be lordosis, widely become more obvious. The cordyceps will start getting weakened. So, there will be history of knee buckling and falls. From 9 to 12 years, there will be more difficulty. Child will have more difficulty to stand. He will be using the wheelchair and with the use of wheelchairs and uh, because of the inactivity multiple contractures start developing in the area of achilles tendon iliotibial band kyphoscoliosis respiratory dysfunction deep tendon reflexes are depressed in the weak muscles and ankle reflex continues to be illustrated on examination so a child who is presenting to you with a myopathy with the ref depressed reflexes but ankle reflex still retained this is an important entity the cardiac muscles get involved uh, after 12 years so child will have dilated cardiomyopathy cardiac conduction defect will be there a respiratory muscle involvement causing restrictive lung disease vital capacity start diminishing around 10 years of age there will be history of obstructive sleep apnea sleep disturbances and but and with this weakness, cardiac difficulties and respiratory difficulties, intelligence tends to be, uh, average uh, intelligence tends to be lower, lower value of IQ will be there and can have attention deficit disorders. So, when a child will send to you with a musk myopathy, these are some histories. This is the natural history of Duchenne's. Similarly, we will discuss uh, the natural history of limb girdle disorders in another video. For more such videos, uh, you can subscribe to my channel. And we are also having a neurology clinical videos app on Google Play Store. So that is very helpful for the DM and DNB students. Thank you.